Hey everyone, I'm Lane with Windows10Update.com. I'm brand new here, but I wanted to celebrate coming aboard by giving you guys a video of some awesome kind of hidden features in Windows 10. Now Windows 10 is obviously a brand new OS for most of us, which means that there are a lot of hidden features that most of us just haven't had an opportunity to discover yet. So we're gonna take a look at six of those features right now. Now Windows 10 is a great operating system for all kinds of devices. Small tablets, large tablets, desktops, laptops, and everything in between. The other tablet operating systems out there have some pretty standard features that Windows 10 actually doesn't have turned on out of the box. That brand new Outlook Mail application that we all love doesn't actually serve up notifications when your emails come in. Off to the right of the Windows 10 OS is the Action Center, and notifications from your email will show up there. However, you won't receive a pop-up notification or a notification sound when those emails come in. However, you can turn this feature on, and it's actually quite easy. Here's how you do that. Once you're in the Mail application, go ahead and click on the Settings cog down in the bottom left-hand corner. Then go ahead and click on Options. Scroll all the way to the bottom and then check the boxes that say show a notification banner and play a sound. Everyone's happy about the return of the start menu in Windows 10, but there are some customizations that you can make to it that you may not realize. Of course, you can resize the start menu and even make it full screen, but along the left side there are some shortcuts that you can either remove or place in there. To change the shortcuts that you see along the left side, specifically the folders, Go to Settings, Personalization, and then Start. From there, click on the link that says Choose which folders appear on Start. If you need to access your Downloads folder very frequently, for instance, go ahead and turn that on, and now it's gonna appear in your Start menu. Many of us are going to end up with hundreds of applications installed on our system, some of which we use very frequently, and maybe we'll pin those to the Start screen, and then others we won't use that often, and it's gonna be harder to find them. Now, if you're trying to find those applications in the start menu, there's kind of a hidden feature. If you click on any of the numbers or the letters above the applications, that will take you right into a jump list. From there, tap or click on the letter associated with the app that you wanna launch. Of course, you can always launch applications using Cortana. If you just type the name of the application that you want into the Cortana search box and hit enter, that application is gonna open right up. In addition to typing right into Cortana, you can also activate Cortana via voice, but you will need to turn this feature on. In addition, this feature and Cortana in general will only be available if you're signed into Windows 10 using a Microsoft account. To activate the voice activation feature for Cortana, open Cortana, go to the menu on the left and go to the notebook section. From here, go to settings and then turn on Hey Cortana. By default, Cortana will be set up to recognize anyone's voice, but if you don't want your friends to be able to walk into your room and activate her, you may want to set that up so that she only recognizes your voice. There's one more thing that I want to tell you about Cortana. If you right click on the taskbar, you can change Cortana to an icon. So if that search bar is taking up too much room, changing it to an icon will make things a little bit cleaner. In addition, if you don't want to use Cortana, you could actually hide her entirely from the taskbar. All right, this last tip has to do with Microsoft Edge, Microsoft's brand new internet browser in Windows 10. Now, just like most modern web browsers, the address bar doubles as a search box. That search box uses Bing as the search provider. If you do want to change that for any reason, that is something that you can do, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so as of right now, when I type anything into the address bar here, it's going to search using Bing's search engine. However, I can change that to any other search provider, even sites like YouTube and Twitter. The way you'll go ahead and change that is to go ahead and click on the ellipsis or the three dots in the top right corner here, then click settings, scroll to the bottom and click view advanced settings. Scroll to the bottom of that page and you'll see search in the address bar with. If you haven't changed this, you'll see that it's set to bing.com. Now when you click this, I have the option to change it to Google here because I've already set that up. However, you may not see another search provider. So what you'll do is click Add New, and then you can select from the different search providers that are shown here. Now, in case you don't see any search providers here, note that these websites have only shown up here because I have visited them. So right now, I don't have Yahoo in this search box. 
However, if I go ahead to yahoo.com, Now if I go back to that area, I will see that Yahoo is an option as a search provider. So this is even possible with other sites like YouTube. So if you prefer to search for videos, you could actually set that up as well. I've been Lane with WindowsTenUpdate.com. Thanks for watching.